Duchess of Sussex Meghan Markle stayed silent and apparently did not share any message for late Queen Elizabeth II on first death anniversary. Meghan remained in California with her children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet as Harry returned to Britain for Well Child Awards on Thursday. On today of all days she gets photographed driving for the first time in three years and it got picked up by the media. She's showing that she is not afraid to trample on the memory of Queen and it's repugnant and reprehensible. Sussex was pictured behind the wheel of a black Range Rover. In pic, Megan sitting solo in her seat that she looks like a toddler or a tiny old lady driving and looking through and not over the steering wheel. And I bet she was trying to cosplay Catherine from last year. Kate Middleton has been pictured for the first time since the Queen's death. The Duchess of Cambridge was snap dressed in all black driving her car around Windsor. She remained at Windsor and was last seen picking her children, Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 7, and youngest Louis, 4, up from their new school when it was announced doctors were concerned for the Queen's health, as husband Prince William jetted off to Balmoral with uncles Andrew and Edward. Catherine looked solemn yet so elegant in an understated way. Catherine was popped organically by living her life and could be on any magazine cover if she wants to. But she isn't a fame-hungry gal like our saint. Meanwhile, Meghan can hardly see her through that opaque windshield, and she just looks so bad. Meghan even had to speed dial Blackridge to take photos of her because no one gives a shit about her. With each passing day slash year, Meghan will become more and more irrelevant. Eventually, not even trashy tabloid slash paps would give her the time of day even if she were to pay for it. Is sure this was a very calculated move by Meghan. Her only game is to signal to the BRF that she has the power to continue to be a disruptor and to use that to try to maximize her financial leverage for the inevitable divorce. I commented about this here already, but this is entirely WME. This is calculated, and it's transparent. They're not going to let Meg step out of line right now. They've put too much money into making this new Harry and Meghan look work. Back to current news, Prince Harry, King Charles and senior members of the royal family paid heartfelt tributes to late Queen Elizabeth. The Duke of Sussex said at a charity event in London, As you know, I was unable to attend the awards last year as my grandmother passed away. She would have been the first person to insist that I still come to be with you all instead of going to her. And that's precisely why I know exactly one year on that she is looking down on all of us tonight, happy we're together. Kate Middleton and Prince William also shared a joint statement to mark one year of Queen Elizabeth's death. They said, Today we remember the extraordinary life and legacy of Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth. We all miss you. W.C. Prince William and Princess Kate, both 41 are maintaining a good balance between carrying out their duties and raising their children as privately as possible, royal author Sally Bedell Smith exclusively tells people in this week's issue. Getting that right is key and something they think about every day, adds a source close to the family. In doing so, they honor the queen. The prince was incredibly close to his grandmother, the source says. She was such a big part of his life and a real supporter of his work, and I'm sure he and the princess miss her presence.